Got him. Oh, I just had a hit. Got him. Nope. Got him. Oh my god, that's a good fish. If you're not fishing a blade bait this time of year, what the heck is wrong with you? It's November 24th. That was a super aggressive strike. There's another good bass for that Jackal Keyburn. Blade bait fish. Mwah. Go on, cold boy. Got him! Oh, oh God, he's running at me. He's dogging me hard. Oh. Oh. Look at that, another nice chunk for the blade bait. Mwah. November 24th. Got a good one. There he is. Another one just dogging me, man. Oh, I hate these weeds and this mud. Oh. Oh. How he has that key burn in his mouth. This one requires the pliers. All right. Let's say goodbye to this butterball. Mwah. Oh. oh no, oh no, oh. of course I catch the stupidest fish. Oh. I think that, that that was fish number three. We're gonna talk a little bit about this technique while I fish it some here. So I'm getting into this deep pocket behind this brush pile here. This particular blade bait is a 3 8 ounce and it is a Jackal Keyburn. And if you notice, it has double hook trebles on it. So I can fish this bait off the bottom, which is what I'm doing. I'm just, as slowly as I can, I'm lifting my rod tip up just till I feel it barely vibrate and letting it drop back down. What that's doing is imitating, in this case, a bluegill, which is what the fish in this pocket are feeding on. These are fish that have actually been separated from the main lake from the drawdown. So these are all bass isolated in this pocket. And this is all deep through here and especially deep behind this brush beaver lodge right here. So we're casting it out, make sure it sinks to bottom and just raise the rod tip up enough to feel it flutter and just wait for a bite. Got him. There's another one. Just like that. That's how you blade bait. Ooh. There's my fourth fish today. Ugh. That one's not as big. So for this technique, this is a seven foot glass rod. It's a Shimano SLX, so it's not like a premium rod or anything. It is a medium action, which is really letting me keep those fish pinned on these treble hooks. And it's colder, so what they're mostly able to do is pull down and wallow. You don't see them jumping and thrashing a lot right now. Got him. <sighs> Number five. My fifth bass today. There's fish number five right there. Mwah. This is a big fish. Ooh, man. Stay away from the beaver dam, please. Come on, baby. So there's fish number six in under 35 minutes out here. Six solid fish. Got him. 
Number seven. Ooh. God, these fish pull. There's my biggest one today. Ugh. All right. Two, one. Ooh. Oh, I got a good one. Thought I felt him bite. Ooh. Oh man, this fish, this is the biggest today. Oh, fish number eight for the day. Eighth fish today. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are getting back out there. Oh, there we go. Fish number nine. You look so fine. You look so fine. Fish number nine. Fish number nine out of here. Mwah. Nine fish. Oh, not most graceful releases, but kind of limited on my mobility. Man, I was trying to pop some crud off my bait. There we go. Right, look at the big black spot on this fish. This fish is covered in spots, man. Ooh. 